Good morning! Welcome to my get ready with me for the day video. Um, this has been a highly requested video. People want to see how I do my everyday makeup, all of that fun stuff. So I'm here to give it to you. And on Instagram, I asked you guys to send me some questions so that I'm not just doing makeup on here. So I have those questions all written down on the paper. Thank you so much for everybody who um, submitted their questions. I really appreciate it. So for those of you who don't know me, I am Carrie Kemp. You can follow me on Instagram at the Carrie Kemp. And uh, the very first question I'm going to answer is pre-makeup skin routine. So typically I wash my face at night and then when I wake up in the morning, I can just like jump right into it as I see fit. <coughs> so I have everything here to kind of show you guys the lowdown. This is what I wash my face with most days. It's a Garnier skin remover. So I, I actually removed my makeup with this Bioderm, Bioderma, uh, between two and four days a week. I'll put on a mask. This one specifically is from Sephora. I really like these Sephora masks. I usually get about six wears of out of these little packages. It says four. Uh, maybe I have a small face. I don't know. Um, but I usually get about six out of these. Um, this one has a light exfoliate exfoliation agent in it as well. The yellow one does not. I like the yellow one as well. So it's between the green one and the yellow one. Those ones are my favorite. Or else I'll put on like a wet mask, depending on like how dry it is outside. Yada, yada, yada. I don't want to go on too long and bore you guys. So um, if you have any questions about any of this stuff, if I went over it too fast, anything like that, leave it down in the comments so that I can respond uh, to you appropriately. Because I don't want to sit here and babble on. Let's be real. So... Um, as I go through everything, I'm going to tell you guys what I'm using and then I'm going to incorporate the questions into, uh, like everything. So like my favorite eyeshadow palette, how I apply things, what's my favorite foundation, what's my favorite drugstore foundation, all of that kind of stuff. I'm going to try and answer them as much as possible. So there's that. And yeah, let's, let's do this. So for um, moisturizer, like a day-night cream, before I put on any makeup, I use this uh, L'Oreal Age Perfect. I don't mind it. It's a thicker um, cream, and I really like it at night. Like, once I take my makeup off, I do my mask, all that fun stuff. If I don't put on, like, a facial night mask, I actually will put on this, and it's pretty decent, like, overall pretty decent. So if I'm looking down here, this is where my mirror is. So I'm gonna look down here. So I don't mind it for the price. Um, I think it was like 35 bucks in that area. Most moisturizers are pretty expensive. I'm the kind of person where I believe in, you pay for what you get, especially when it comes to makeup. I don't buy cheaper makeup um, because I've used it before in the past <clears throat> and it just doesn't work for my skin. Personally, I can't get it to work. Maybe now that I'm a little bit more um, advanced in makeup applications, I might be able to get some of it to work. But I also don't have the money to be spending on like testing new makeup. I just go with what I know works. So now I'm going on to this Smashbox Photo Finish Pri uh, yeah, Foundation Primer. And you don't need a lot of this stuff. Just like, honestly, that's enough. Like... Not much at all. It lasts forever. It is, this stuff is pretty expensive. I want to say that this little thing is like $35, but I've had it for a long time. Um, Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I am in 3N1. That's my shade. Um, I was asked what my favorite drugstore foundation is, and <clears throat> kind of what I said before, like, honestly, even when I wasn't as knowledgeable about makeup when I lived in Saskatchewan and didn't need to be. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I actually have always had like a higher end foundation. Like I was addicted to MAC foundation 
uh, for the longest time. And then I went to uh, La, La Combe, I think it was called, and I hated that stuff. Oh my goodness, that, it just would not sit on my skin properly. And they, before I get into that, I'm gonna let you know that number one, I'm using a beauty blender. Uh, highly recommend a beauty blender. I've tried using other products, not as good. Beauty blenders, spend the money, they last a long time. Um, but, uh, where was I going? Oh, and I take my time with this. I spend at least like four minutes on my foundation. Anyway, okay. So then I went to a lot home, didn't like it. Then I went to another product. Don't even remember what it was. Didn't like it. Then I seen a bunch of YouTubers, beauty gurus using this stuff. And I fell in love. This Estee Lauder um, has like changed my makeup. <laughs> I don't even go back to Mac anymore if I don't have to so that's saying something it is very expensive I think it's 54 or 55 dollars Canadian for um, this but it is worth every single penny um, you pay for what you get you don't have to use a lot uh, and you can build it it's very buildable I usually just do one coat if I'm doing a photo shoot I might do a second coat but for the most part on a day-to-day -day, I do just one coat so uh, gonna get into all of this so everybody's asking me about my relationship uh, when did you and Scott meet how long ago did you and Scott meet and all of that fun stuff so when did Scott and I meet Scott and I met June of 2007 uh, I was still in grade 12 I was writing my finals I think we met like officially we went, it was at a like through a friend and so we picked him up on I picked him up on the way to a party with me and a couple other friends and uh, yeah ever since that day we just like kind of clicked that night things were good and uh, so yeah, the rest is history. We, we officially started dating on the 18th of June and um, so that's when and how we uh, got engaged in 2010, June 5th, 2010. Um, he, we had just bought a house in April, our first house in April in Saskatoon and uh, we were going to go out to... I'm going to get into my concealer, Tarte Shape Tape. It's the best stuff. The, I think you, the only place you can get it is online, to be honest. That's where I get mine. Um, I am in the shade Light. I have personally used the shade Light Sand. It was a little bit too light. Sometimes I use it still. Actually, usually I use it as like concealer on my eyes, which I'll get to. But, um, yeah. Uh, the proposal he um, he was gonna take me to uh, Waska Sioux which is a lake outside of Prince Albert it's about a, I don't know two-hour drive I think and he was gonna take me on a picnic however it was gonna rain so then we were gonna go golfing before the rain because I like to golf and I used to do it more then <laughs> I need to get back into it but yeah, um, but then I like stood outside and I was like, it's still a little bit too cold. And if you knew Scott, he is a very like, he can't keep a secret. Like, especially something like that. He was like, he was acting different and I knew it, but I thought it was just because um, we were gonna go out to the lake and all that kind of stuff and do the picnic. So I thought he was just like upset about that. And then like golfing, he was like a little bit torn up about that. And so we got back to the house and I was like, well, seeing as it's gross, like let's just go shopping. And so he's like, okay. So we went and put the golf bags away. And um, it was like around the side of our house. Downstairs is where a storage area was. 
And so, um, he was like, I don't know what this is. <laughs> That's not what he said, but, um, he was like, he like grabbed my arm when we were like, when I was walking away, we were in the front of the house, like getting ready to go to the car. It had just started like spitting. It wasn't raining. And like this, like you'd feel like a drop and then it would go away. And then you'd feel another drop like two minutes later. Um, he grabbed my arm and he's like, do you know that I love you? I'm like, yeah, like let's go shopping. <laughs> and he's like, and I like started walking away and he grabbed my arm again. And do you know how much I love you? And I'm like, lots let's go shopping <laughs> and um he was like he grabbed my arm again because i started walking away he was like no i don't think you know how much i love you i'm like scott you love me lots let's go shopping i don't want to get rained on and that's when he got down on one knee and again if you knew scott he uh liked to bug me back then about engagements like he got on his knee, like, more times than you can... Well, like, it wasn't, like, completely on his knee, but he would, like, start to pretend, and he was like, you know, I love you, and then he would, like, give me a a, a bolt for, like, the screws. You know how you, like, bolt the screws? Yeah. He, he's a different duck. <laughs> but I love him. Um, yeah, and so I was like, Scott, I don't have time for this today. Like, we need to get out of here before I get rained on. And then I'm going to be really grumpy kind of thing. And <clears throat> that's when he had, like, a ring box. And I was like, oh, this, this he's never had a ring box before. This is impressive. And that's when he got down on one knee and opened it up and put a ring on it. <laughs> and uh, there were, like, people in the park across the street. We had a park right across the street. And people were like, oh my God, he's proposing. And that's when I was like, oh my God, he's proposing. Like, I just never, well, I mean, I, I expected it obviously, but like, I was like, oh my God, it's actually happening. It's not fake this time. So yeah, we did that. And then I was like all excited and happy and ready to plan a wedding. So that was awesome. And then... The wedding happened a year and a little bit later, August 20th of 2011. So that was a lot of fun. Um, sorry for my setting powder, which I, Laura Mercier translucent powder. It's, it's pretty awesome, not gonna lie. Love that stuff. That stuff I think, I, I usually get that at Shoppers actually, or at, um, Sephora. I'm not sure if you can get it at Shoppers. That's something I haven't checked to see. They might. I'll start getting it there. Hmm. All right. Now I go to my eyes while that's like setting and, um, it was an outdoor wedding in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. I wore a little ball gown dress. I absolutely loved it. The moment I tried it on, I cried. Um, before I get into any more of that, one of my questions was my favorite eyeshadow palette. If I had to say, throw everything away except for one palette, I wouldn't be able to. Um, honestly, I would probably keep my Jaclyn Hill palette because it's the most versatile. Uh... But today, because I think, because I want to show you guys the Lemonade palette. I love Dominique. Um, Christian Dominique is her name. She is a YouTuber on YouTube. <laughs> oh, wow. I It's early. Um, I really, really, really like her. And um, she's just super sweet. And you can tell that she just genuinely wants to get out information about makeup. So I'm gonna use her palette today. Uh, here are all my brushes. Um, I did buy MAC, or MAC, oh my gosh. Again, it's early. I did buy Morphe brushes um, a while back and I love them. I said I would kind of give you guys an update. This is my update. I absolutely love these brushes, I'm not gonna lie. Um, 
I think that they are great. So I'm just going into the new tee, which is that this one right here. And just like setting on these. Okay, so wedding. Uh, yeah, did that. Uh, our honeymoon was in Maui, Hawaii. And yeah, now it's been almost eight years later. And the rest is history. Cuckoo. So that's about Scott and I. Somebody asked me what my favorite thing to do in the bedroom is. Sleep. Uh, someone asked me how I stay motivational and positive all the time. I am like anybody else. Uh, I'm going to go into the sweet tea right here. I'm like anybody else. I have my good and bad days. However, um, I am hypersensitive to how I'm feeling. And if I am having a bad day, I'll actually like try and make it better. Like I will actively, like I'll go for a coffee or I'll go shopping or I'll, um, like I'll, I'll go for a workout. I'll actively try and make it better. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. So typically how I stay motivated and positive. Number one, I work out, uh, in the morning. So I find that working out in the morning is a great way to start your day or start my day. Um, uh, when I worked the like corporate job, I was just able to multitask better and answer questions better and problem solve better. It just completely transformed my life in ways that I can't explain. That is me personally. Again, I'm not saying that it will work for everyone, but motivational and positive. So when I'm having a bad day, I think of, um, like if I say it worst case scenario, I lost somebody today. Uh, I've had a lot of loss. I've experienced a lot of loss in the last couple of years. And um, I have my moments. Everybody has their moments of grief. And uh, I'll, I always, always, always sit there and think of the lesson that I'm learning going through that hard time. Like why, there's there's always a reason. I believe that there's a reason for absolutely everything. Um, the good, the bad, the ugly. And I just sit there and I tell myself that everything happens for a reason and there is a reason I am going through this. So just remain positive. And I surround myself with positive people. Um, if somebody does not bring positivity to my life, I don't care who they are. They can be... My closest family, they could be like, there have been family members of mine who like even still to this day, I'm just not that close to. So I think that if you are strong enough to um, be able to do that to family or strong enough to be able to do that to anyone who does not bring, I'm going into chai tea, sorry, uh, who does not bring positive vibes to your life. And I just always kind of like kept that with me. And I found that that's brought such positivity into my life. It doesn't matter who you are. I bring positive, I bring positivity into your life and I expect the same. Like I try and look at things very, um, open-mindedly <clears throat> and again, everything happens for a reason so, um, that's kind of, that's kind of how I do it. That's, again, everybody has their days. I, I've already said that, but I just try to find a lesson in everything. So, okay, going into what is your size? I am a jean size 18 right now, and, um... You guys know my measurements. I always do measurements for you guys in every uh, clothing try-on. If you are missing it, it is after my little spiel at the beginning. So uh, if you guys do want to know my uh, measurements, please check out my latest video. Um, how did I start modeling? It was in Saskatoon, and there was an agency there um, that I started with. 
and the organizer was Colleen. She does event management now. If you need an event in Saskatoon, please contact her. She is legitimately the sweetest person. One of the sweetest people that I've ever met. I kind of did it out of like, it was kind of one of those like, yes man moments or yes woman moments where I was just like, why not? And it just kind of like snowballed from there. So that was in 2016. I started July 2016. And I had done a couple shoots. There were a couple runways that I had done, bridal runways. Um, and then I worked for a bridal store, W Bridals out there. They are amazing. And then I ended up uh, getting invited to CMTC, the Canadian Model and Talent Convention in Toronto. And that was in May of 2017. And uh, at that time, I had already known that I was going to move to Toronto. Uh, but yeah, Scott and I decided we were going to move to Toronto just for something different. It would give me an opportunity to see where this modeling would take me, um, see what a new city is all about. We both were raised in very, very small town. Well, mine was like uber small. And Scott's was like a small city that we were both raised in. And so we were like, you know what? Why not like go out on a limb? Nothing happened. So I moved in August of 2017. Nothing happened really. Like uh, I had gone for a couple photo shoots and all of that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, I started with Your Big Sister's Closet just about a year ago. It's on the 23rd is a one year. I'm super excited. It's such an amazing company um, to model for. And um, yeah, so there's that. And then, yeah, ever since then, I just like apply for any job and every job that I can. I'm gonna go into this peach color. Um, and, uh, but yeah, that's, okay, that's how I got started modeling. I'm a rambler, I didn't realize how much I rambled. What is the most important thing about becoming a model? <clears throat> I believe, this is my opinion, I believe the most important thing about becoming a model is knowing your strengths and weaknesses and working towards your strengths. Um, so personally, my strength, one of my strengths, I guess I have a lot, but one of my strengths is uh, my ability to see, take any um, event and turn it positive. So just being like, a pos like a truly positive role model who just loves life and lives it to the fullest. Another important thing is like being um, being relatable and like uh, like interacting with your audience and your followers. Like I think that that is huge when it comes to modeling because. Like really, who you are working for a brand, but who does that brand want you to appeal to? An audience. And if you have that audience, I just love people and I love meeting new people. Like it's genuinely one of my favorite things to do. That whole like social side of modeling, I think has been one of my biggest strengths is just being able to network and connect and um, be open-minded when you are connecting and when you are networking and being able to see two sides of everything like nine times out of ten again another big strength of mine is when there's a problem I can see both sides of that problem um, when somebody comes to me with something uh, say a conflict and um, there, there are three sides to every story. There's his side, her side, and the truth. Um, it doesn't matter what story you're telling. Your truth is always going to be your truth. It's not going to be the truth because there are so many di different factors in a story and in, a, in an incident um, that make both sides right, in a sense. There are, there are people who lie. Uh, um, and there could be like more truth on one side than another, but, um, 
just because like if I were to this is actually a great example let's do this I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it right now it, it's all on on perspective so when you're looking at this what what are you seeing well you're gonna see a, a nine when I'm looking at it I see a six who's right we both are so that is uh, perspective is something that I've done a lot of learning on, especially when I was going through that time with my family member who uh, wasn't supportive of some of the things that I was doing at the time. And again, they had their side of the story, right? So was I right? Was, were they wrong? No. Um, what do you think is the most important thing about posing for photos? Working your angles. Oh, I'm going to put bronzer on. I use Huda, Boot, bleh, bleh. Hula by Benefit bronzer with this old brush. And I just carve. Contour, bronze, my face. Um, knowing your assets on your body so like mine is my tiny waist i accent my tiny waist quite a bit honestly go into a mirror and start posing that is how you become better at it that is you you guys have no idea <laughs> how much time i've spent in front of a mirror posing just working my angles looking at things that i think i'm gonna try and so then i get somebody to take a picture like, it doesn't even need to be a professional picture. Like, get your son or daughter, husband, friend to come out and just take pictures of you. Pose. Pose differently. Pose. Like, just work your angles. And um, eventually, you're going to find your signature pose. And you're just going to do it at every single family function. This is so dark. Holy. Coordinating outfits. What are some color staples that you need to have in your closet? Black. <laughs> I'm such a simple dresser, you guys. If you guys only knew me in Saskatchewan, I literally, like my staple was like Lululemons or like um, yoga pants and like a bunny hug or a sweater or a t-shirt. Like I am such a simple dresser and so it's so funny coming into the model world, the, like the Toronto model, model world, and people are like talking about different fabrics and all that kind of stuff. I'm sorry, I'm not the person that you can really talk to about that kind of stuff because like I know what spandex is. I've heard of polyester. I'm not like your typical fashion model where I know everything and everything about fashion. I go with what looks good on me and what looks good in my closet. I try things differently. Like I try to wear things differently. If I like it, great. If not, I don't do it. So like color staples, whatever your favorite color is. I personally really like blue, um, pink, uh, grays, blacks. Those are like my staples. Uh, just whatever you feel comfortable in if you see somebody and you like what they're wearing go try it on like ask them where they got it go to that store like if, even if they don't have the outfit anymore go to that store and see if you can find something that uh something else that you like in that store because nine times out of ten people continue to shop at the same store so like me personally half of my closet is your big sister's closet not only because I work there, but because I genuinely like the clothes that they bring in and it's at a really good value. Um, I don't have to spend a lot of money uh, because they have like decent prices. So um, yeah, those are color staples. My favorite designer, um, if you're talking like big name designer, my favorite designer is Christian Siriano. And the reason I say that is because he works with a lot of, I, you, yeah, I told you that. Okay. 
Uh, Dior Nude Air Illuminizer is my highlight for today. Um, he works with a lot of like big name celebrities and like works with more plus size, like a lot of plus size celebrities. And I'm not just talking about Ashley Graham. Um, Ashley Graham is not the only plus, I love Ashley Graham and I'm not dissing her in any way, shape or form. Um, I I just really like him and I have hit, like pretty much all of his pay less shoes, so. Would you consider opening your own plus size clothing store? You know, it's funny. No. <laughs> Um, and the only reason I say that is because I am a model. Uh, would I have my own plus size line that a plus size clothing store would bring in? I mean, that's a definite possibility. I've considered that. Favorite thing to do when there's nothing to do. Sit on my ass and do nothing. Uh, there's nothing. I use Kat Von D for eyeliner uh, on over... My eye, like on, yeah, up here. Um, and usually I'm like so close to him here, it's not even funny, so this might look like garbage when it's all said and done. I don't even know if I can talk and do this. Uh, favorite thing to do when there's nothing to do. Yeah, sit around, do nothing, watch reality TV. Uh, I watch The Real Housewives. I watch Big Brother. Um, I watch sports, football. Sorry, I'm trying to do this and talk at the same time. You guys need to try it. It's really hard. I'm using Bad Girl Bang by Benefit. Mascara. You don't have to put a lot on because, again, lashes go over top of it. For setting spray, I use um, Urban Decay All Nighter. Sugar Baby, Batty B. And then I use Duo Lash Glue. Sorry, I'm just kind of hustling this up. I just realized how long this video is, so I apologize that it's so long. All right, so I just put them kind of in the center, and then I move them about. And I have tweezers over top. Kind of just like throw it, throw it on. Then you just kind of move it to right there. Grab the tweezers or your fingers. Mark Jacobs underneath. And then for lips, my natural lip to go to is Urban Decay Stark Naked lip liner. And I honestly put it all over. So that's it naturally. And then I use this clear, not so clear, uh, lip liner or gloss. And there, there you have it. Now I just, I, I'm gonna go and do my hair. I'm just gonna straighten it, put a little ponytail up top, but that is my kind of everyday, quick, not so quick, uh, makeup routine. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm sorry that I rambled about a bunch of stuff, but I hope I answered everybody's questions. If you guys have any more questions, please let me know down below. If there's something I wasn't clear about, let me know in the comment section. I will be happy to answer any questions that you have. Um, but I am going to go and do my hair. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you can be informed of when I upload my videos. The next video will be uploaded on Friday. I'm so excited. And yeah, I will see you guys on Friday. Have an awesome week, you guys. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>